There's that thunder. A little freaky now. It's gonna get interesting here in about 30 minutes, I think. Big line of red coming at us. Yep. Special weather statements going off every five, ten seconds on my phone. We might get some pretty serious weather here in a bit. It's late right now. Me and Ted just got here to the spot we're planning to hunt. We were gonna put the tents out, but I think we're just gonna just go to sleep in the truck. Wait it out. This ought to be gone by the morning. Hopefully the turkeys will be gobbling after this storm moves through. Hopefully we don't get smashed by a tree or something. Yeah, no kidding. Shane Simpson might be coming to meet out of those. Yeah, Shane's, I think he said he is coming. So that'll be fun. Hopefully between the three of us in the morning, I think we got five tags. Surely we can run into something up in here. Yeah. I as long as we so. make it through the night. Boy, she's angry, Ted. Yep, I don't like the looks of it, but we'll make her through. How was your sleep? Good. Well, we didn't get stuck by lightning, so that's good. Pulled a Shane Simpson last night during that storm and just slept in the front seat of my truck. Ted slept in the back end here. It's about 4.30 right now. We just woke up. We're getting ready to hike up to the top of this ridge. There's absolutely no wind and there's some stars up in the sky, but it looks a little foggy and misty this morning after that storm went through. There's quite a bit of moisture in the air. But our plan is to hike up to the top of this ridge and get above these two creeks where we can hear pretty good ways. There's no wind, so we should be able to hear a turkey gobble from a pretty good distance this morning and then go to them. It's getting late enough in the year right now where most of these hens ought to be on the nest and turkeys ought to be gobbling good, I would think. And this time of year, we usually have luck finding lonely gobblers, so I suppose we'll see what the day brings here. Five o'clock and bird gobble straight out here on this ridge. We're thinking about looping around, getting on this long ridge that's over there a ways because this one looks like it's real thick. So if we loop around, we'll be on a ridge across from them, but it looks like it'll be nice and open. So we'll make a loop and get over there and hopefully he'll be working his way up that ridge. Several of them. seconds or so sounds like he's down at bottom not too far from the road so we made a big loop up through here this morning but we're not too far from the road right here so we should be able to just start dropping down this ridge right to him got wet in the middle of the night and then it's so humid that they can't dry their feathers off so they gotta come out in the opening. Since we saw all those turkeys on the road, we're assuming this this turkey did the same thing. Pretty sure he was roosted right up above us here on this ridge. And then he probably dropped down in the road and was walking that and that's where we were hearing him from. Got in the truck and drove over here and now we're just creeping our way down this road looking for tracks and seeing if we can hear them gobble again. We're on top. Yeah. Alright, I guess let's mosey up there. Jesus, I need a haircut. We bees up top. We just got with this turkey here, got on the same level with him. And he's out here gobbling in front of us on this point of this ridge. He's gobbled twice in the last five minutes. We're not very far from this turkey now. He's gobbled a couple times since we just got to this point right here. It's probably 150 yards, don't you think? Yeah. Looks like he might be in some open woods, but. I don't think we can get to him. We might have to try and find a 
up back here and calm in. Again, a couple times. Sounds like he's moving down that point away from us almost. So we got up from our setup and we're working down along the side of this ridge. We're gonna see how, see if we can get any closer to this thing. He's gobbling good, so we can keep track of him, which is nice. Hopefully, he'll keep doing that.
missed him, I guess. Well, missed another one. We went up there and everything worked out about right. Came up over the ridge and got on him. Waited for him to get in the view of the camera and then what I should have done is yelp to make sure he kept his head up, but his head was pretty much up the whole time, so didn't think I needed to do that. Right when I shot, it looks like his head goes down and the pattern goes right over top of his head, so I should have yelped to keep his head up. I need to do that every time pretty much, but for some reason I didn't there. More called again, another one gobbled over on another ridge, so we're heading that way. That field's private. We're in the public woods. And it's only four or five strand barbed wire out there. He's coming straight at us too. He's gotta go under one strand of it already. So I'm hoping that he'll come in here to the public. Ted can get a crack at him here. He's still coming? Yeah, we'll see how he does with this barbed wire. Pretty sure he's right at it. That's what I'm hoping is that he'll come through that gate. Two o'clock, what have I been messing with these birds that are on that private pasture for the last two or three hours now? They've been gobbling like crazy and there's, we've seen probably five or six longbeards out there. We called them right up to the private public line. And there was a hen on our side of the line, but all the longbeards stayed on the private side out in that pasture. They had one right, right on the fence, it sounded like. They've all worked back in there a little bit deeper on that pasture. They're still on the edge of the public, but they're back away so we're making a loop on them good chance they're roosting right on this public here oh, i could hear one goblin back that way for a while when we were up top the same one you missed. I don't know what else we do other than hike all the way back up there. Sweating it? Yep. We got all the way to the bottom of the hill. Turkey gobbled up on the knob that Ted missed one on earlier. It could be the same turkey that he missed, I don't know. But we called a little bit, and he gobbled every time, so. That bottom we were in didn't look good. I don't think he's gonna come to it. So we're coming all the way back up to the very top to try to hook around this thing and call him back in. I think it's probably the same one that you missed. I think so too. I think he just, to me, honestly. when you missed him, he didn't know what happened. He had his head down like he was gonna go feed, and then he took off, and he never saw us get up or anything, so. Yeah. Might be no different a tree falling in the woods. And now he doesn't have a hen, it sounds like, so. 
we can make it up here without passing out, maybe we'll get another crack at this guy. Hopefully I can hit him this time.
boy. Got him, Ted. Yes. Yes. What a show. What a freaking show. He sat behind he that tree nervous. and gobbled for 11 and a half minutes. He's getting nervous right there, too. Oh, yeah, he was nervous. Did you have to move around a tree or something to shoot him? A little bit. He was. There was just like one little tree that he was coming straight at for me. And he turned to the right there. And he was in the open for a second. I could have shot him right there, but he act, I didn't know if he was going to keep coming or what, so I just kind of waited. He did that, and then he started clipping his wings. It was and time. He yelped, and it was like. There's window right there. I'm like, That's all you gotta have, because he was getting ready to leave. He had oh. gobbled for so long right there and expected to see us. You missed that turkey at 10 o'clock, and it is what time is it now? <laughs> Four something. 4:45. 4:45. Yeah, same turkey for sure. You could tell his same gobble turkey. had a. He's got a weird gobble. It's the same one. Same turkey for sure. We didn't want to hike up here because we were going back towards the truck and. And we heard him gobbling and it was hot, sunny. We're out of water and we're like, what do we do? Should we go all the way back up there? Because that's that same bird that, we, yeah. that we've already called in today. Yeah. Good job. <sighs> Needed that one. Persistence killed that one. Mm -hmm. All day in the heat. Holy cow. We were way down in that bottom when we heard him about 3 o'clock. He was right there. We just slipped around here. I went out there scratching the leaves and called. I got pretty aggressive on him that second time and eventually that brought him in. But you can see how wide open these woods are. And he hung up right at the top of the ridge, 45 yards behind a tree for Ted. So we just had to wait a long time to get a crack at him. He's long necked out on the top of that ridge and I was like, same thing we were talking about this morning. I almost just shot him without but I did it anyway because just to it. keep it up yeah, like you, you never know when they're gonna that's what happened earlier so yep. I, I should have just because he went went down to the peck or whatever and it shot or it up yeah more often than not when you call to him right then it's gonna hold their attention for at least a couple of seconds yeah that's definitely I try and do that every time but obviously I didn't do it that this morning so you better get him not so we can get out of here yeah, yeah. <laughs> we usually do a recap interview with the bird but I don't think we got time this time. We got a storm rolling in. It's gonna be dumping on us here in the next couple of minutes. So Ted's gonna sling this bird and we're gonna hop off of this ridge and try to get back to the truck without getting soaked. <laughs>